We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Texas Rangers. Should see some great battles out of these two next on the show. Luke Farrell is ready to go as she'll be on the mound for the Rangers. And please act, what's the word on it? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters. On the season, lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy. So whatever he's doing against lefties, it certainly works. Standing in, Gene Segura. He'll get us started in this one Leading under the lights. For Philadelphia, the shortstop, Gene Segura. First pitch of the at-bat. Not where you want the changeup, but he gets away with it for a strike. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, yeah. Matty, this team finds Double itself seven. with a huge lead. Double digits right now and climbing, playing really good. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. Well, it looks like they were that determined man. to be aggressive early. It almost results in a home run in the first half of the game, but he'll settle for a double and hope the number two man can pick him up. And here's Jose Peraza. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Offering on its way. It's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. So let's take a look at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Joe McDonald. You know, you got to take your time and feel Joe McDonald out behind the dish a little bit. He has a tendency to move his zone around, usually set, settling in in those middle innings. You know, all you ask for an umpire is to be consistent. At times, Joe Mack is a little bit too inconsistent, particularly from a pitcher standpoint. Farrell. 28 years old he was taken in the sixth round back in the draft of 2013. Hey nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The 0 2 home. Two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Love the high yeah. heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is called in for the first out. That is third. The center fielder. Mark Whippenshaw. Coming to the plate now, Mark Withenshaw. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. From the stretch. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Segura leads off second with one gone in the inning. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. And a check swing. They'll appeal down to third. No swing is the signal from Freddie Ferguson. It's ball one. The one two. but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Uh, two two. And there's a base hit on the line. And the runner from 
second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. They have to back hit right there, Piro. That extends his hitting streak to six games. Right. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six Harper. days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, then. Here's Bryce Harper now. What a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Now a move over to first. Oh, and the runner back easily. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 0. 2 0 count, runners at the corners. You can bet he's looking for something to drive right here. There's a good chance he gets something to hit, too. As a look, now the pitch. Line hard. But this will be a foul ball. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Harper swings and sends a ball well hit out to right. Chu looks up and it's gone. A three run homer here for Bryce Harper. Home run number 39 on the season for him and the Phillies open up a three to nothing lead. Yeah, he's looked pretty shaky from the first pitch, and things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. I think these guys smelled blood in the water, and they punctuated with a three-run job and an early lead. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. The average coming in at 266. Home runs up to 30 now, and 76 driven in. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Three runs already home here. And it's one and, two. one and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. Here's Jay Bruce now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes in here right at 260. 18 homers. And he's driven in 45. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Bruce is retired. Two down now. Good pitch there, and that was a the nice job base. by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Yeah. 
so digging in now Justin Turner and the Phils trying to make this first inning even better here. From the stretch here's the pitch. Pops this one up. Nunez in foul ground but this will land untouched. Oh one here's the pitch. Ball one. He certainly has an open base down there but you don't want your defenders standing flat footed for much longer. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. In for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Hey this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball put himself right back in this at bat. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But the Phillies use the long ball here and they get three on this three run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 3 nothing Philadelphia. Irvin is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. And please, Zach, what do you got? Well, buckle up your seatbelts, everyone, because you're getting a chance to watch one of the best pitchers in this era. How about a career ERA under one? That's right, under 1.00. Think about that. For every nine innings pitch, this guy gives up one run less. And if he continues to do that, he's going to set records and continue to win a boatload of games. It'll be interesting to see if he brings that repertoire into this one here today. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Matty, you never know right here. Interleague game, when the weather gets cold, this could be a nice harbinger to what we're going to see in, in, in the That's fall the classic right here. Two first place teams going to lock horns in a battle and I'm jacked up. Now the one and one pitch. It swung on and one missed ball. and that's strike two. two. Get it ready big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92 you can usually see seams. 92 to 95 it starts to really quicken up on you over three digits you're seeing a white blur and he takes very close to the inside corner here two and two though and the pitch swing and a liner and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit. forward for his first opportunity Matt Duffy as he's been in a pretty good stretch over the last 10 or so ball games. Throw over to the bag but the runners back easily. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. for the punch out and the offering. 
Fastball called strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck getting that one. Now a throw over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Here's play here at 288 with 19 homers and 85 driven in. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Runner at first here, one man out. Round ball to second. This could be two. He's got it. Segura for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Phillies three and the Rangers nothing. New inning set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Omar Narvaez. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Fouled off. Fouled away. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Nope. And a ball 1-0. and And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Grounded to third, reined in. And there are two away now. The bat, number two, shortstop, Gene Segura. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in Gene Segura. First pitch on its way. Hey! Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Santana is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. The Phillies down in order, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. That brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He enters this one second in the American League in round numbers. You know, Matty, when I think of this guy, I think of damage. You're the league leaders in RBIs as well, Hero. That's the stat that I think gets overlooked so much in today's game. I remember back to Chipper Jones. He used to say, how many biscuits can you put in a basket? Runs and ribbies. And he certainly has a knack for being able to drive in that big run. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. And boy, 
they're really That's giving him fits oh, inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That's not an impact he's going to look back on and be happy about. It. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. At Blake now, Danny Santana. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one comes in with 24 homers to his credit so far this year. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Well, this whole crowd didn't like this guy the mound before, but now they really don't like him. He's gotten the baseball all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it when he comes around to score. Stepping up now, Shin Su Chu. He begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Here's the first pitch to him, and it's fouled away. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Outside. That's Fastball cool. well outside. Runners on first with one down. Chu with a two-ball, one-strike count here. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Here's the 2-2. Runners off for second. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting set. The center fielder. Hunter Bishop. Now in the box, Hunter Bishop. And he's a strong candidate for Rookie of the Year honors. If he can avoid a collapse here in the final months, it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh. Count one and oh. Runner on first with two away. Pitch out, nothing doing. strike on 3-0 was important but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here and this pitch misses for ball four so that's going to move a runner in the scoring position now with two away it's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major League hitters will not vary out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out of this level. Two men on, two out, and into bat next will be Isaiah kiner Falefa. Down three. 
Coming to the plate now, Jose Peraza. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a bunt attempt here. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. That's not in that bat. He or his hitting now coach are going to be happy with him at all. It's bad enough to go down with three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. Into the box now. Mark Withenshaw. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Santana takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. The right fielder, number three. Right. Harper. Digging in, Bryce Harper. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They lead it three to nothing. for the last half of the inning and set to go is the rookie first baseman Josh Jung now pitch on the way the wind up and the 0-1 and he misses there one and two boy he sped him up in this at bat now it's time for the changeup. this guy's got a good one and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat the one and two pitch Misses oh, ball two. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off speed pitches early, followed by back to back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first down. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now. And I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. So now to the plate, Eduardo Nunez. The first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A base hit in his first trip. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. And another foul ball. Another one sent foul. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air out to left. On the move is Bruce. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning.
Digging in for his second at bat. Matt Duffy, who looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled the ball. It's 2-0 oh now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. And that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Fouled off. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Spalman behind now, three, three and one. one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. Hey. Now a fastball gets Move the down. upper part of his own for strike two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Rounded up the first baseline. Hoskins has it, he's and up. he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rangers set down in order. They trail it here, three to nothing. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. We begin the top of the fourth. Reese Hoskins. Now here's the pitch. Ball two. Hey, after the double no, no. on his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. He's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Three and one. Three and one. And he lays oh, off their ball, ball four. The so the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. The left fielder, number 23, Jay Bruce. Striding into the box, Jay Bruce looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ready with the first pitch. Check here it out. comes. Home. Bruce, a 32 year old veteran, he was a first round pick back in 2005. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Three runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Three one count to the Phillies left fielder. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, the pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. And it's up to a three two full count now. Pitch home. 
sent on the ground out the second. And that's through for a base hit, making one for two in this one. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, D-Roll, the old school thinking sometimes is going to go into a bad streak like this guy. Any way he can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk the home plate. You're scuffing it so bad. He's 0 for 1 thus far. behind one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he set down on strikes for the second time tonight. That strikeout was all about setting the hitter up with hard stuff. You can see the first three pitches are coming in fast, and then he slows it down on the fourth pitch, knowing the hitter is sort of conditioned for the hard stuff. Yet another way to upset a hitter's timing. Standing in now, Omar Narvaez. Nope, He'll take a breaking ball. ball, then off the plate for ball one. Yep, one The 1-0. Nope, Fastball down. down below the knees. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hey. Strike call, two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. This one is launched. Look at this. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Ariel Morado answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Scott Kingery. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a liner. Foul. Still only one out in the inning. Try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Fouled away. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. 
the two bat. are gone Number in the Philly two. fourth. And that'll bring in the middle infielder mm. Gene Segura. Segura. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pitch is popped up. Jung has got it, and the side is retired. But the Phillies use the long ball here, and they get three on this three run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Phillies six, and the Rangers nothing. Here's Elvis Andrus now to start the inning out. Matt Vaskersen, Mark DeRozan, Dan Pizak with you in the booth for this one. Ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. Andrus in an 0 and 2 oh, hole here. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off 1 and 2. Basic pitching right there. 0 2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now, time to go to that curveball down and away. And he'll lay off two the curveball that's two in the dirt ball. that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Still even at 2 and 2. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Another try at 2-2. And now Andre swings and misses here as they're able to set him down for the first down. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick any quarters. He's being aggressive in the zone. And he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Here's Joey Gallo now. So look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes, the count. Two, two, the count. And he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Certainly not showing now any signs of intimidation with these middle of the order guys. That's back to back K's. And the three and four guys are harmlessly back in the dugout. Into the box, Danny Santana standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. Two out, nobody on. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Boy, he looks strong out there on the mound this inning. He's got a chance to punch out the side in order, and against the middle of the order, too. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0-2 once more. Oh, and he dusted one him ball. off the plate that two time. Three. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. One, two, three, go the Rangers. 
they won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch, and that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got the message, as now they've gotten into the bullpen, and they put up some solid run production in the early part of this game. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for Philadelphia. Stepping into the box, Jose Peraza. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Behind 0 and 2 now. Now the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Ball and he goes up there. the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The, the best ones have 24. that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Show. And he'll watch one, one oh. miss up and away for a ball, one and oh. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now the one oh. Drilled to first. And he'll step on He's first out. himself for the out. The right fielder, number three. Right. Harper. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that will bring up Bryce Harper. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Chu has a read on it. And that's the third out. Phillies down in order, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production at this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. Shin Su Chu at the plate now. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Out in front of it, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. And that's the first down. The center fielder, number four, Hunter Bishop. So stepping in, Hunter Bishop. He drew a walk his first time up. Here it comes. Nope. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Bishop carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Go, 
this in. one's too ball far three. inside ball two. So far this season, Bishop is carrying around a sparkling slugging percentage up over 500. Obviously a huge threat every time he grabs a bat. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hit hard on the ground is short. Segura has it. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. is one and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two oh, and two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. There's ball four. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Digging in, Josh Jung, man at first after the two out walk. is inside one and two now pretty good pitch right there fastball in off the plate one of the things you want to do as a pitcher try to stand those hitters up had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one Let's go, Texas. the next one two pitch well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Adam fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Segura is there and that retires the side. So no runs here on no hits no errors and one man left on base. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Phillies six and the Rangers nothing. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And that will bring up Reese Hoskins. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins.
Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Ball. Count one and oh. The 1 0. Misses oh, for the good. second ball. Hoskins brings a ton of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards him, and that's exactly what the righty on righty matchup presents itself. A two seamer in a four seamer that leaks out over the plate a hanging breaking ball. This guy seems to absolutely hammer those. Wow that change up is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. Two two pitches fouled away. Right. Now the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Great spot on that 2 2 fastball. You can't place it along the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Wind up and the 0 1. Let down 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. And that this one misses two. to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's 2 and 1. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Ball three and one now. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Gallo is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Now batter, the third base. Base. Justin Turner. Digging in to try it again. Justin Turner 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard on the ground to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up in the yeah, watch your lips oh, right there, Dad. Sent oh, it back oh, right where it came from. To the plate now, Omar Navayan, as it's grounded sharply to first. And he'll yeah. step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Billy Strand won. They lead it 6 zip. In now, Eduardo Nunez start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent today. They've been completely overmatched at this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Here comes the first pitch. Down the first baseline. Take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter, number five, second baseman, Matt Duffy. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Matt Duffy. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. 
Bases are empty, one man in. And it's fouled away. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. He takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. Fly ball out toward left center field. Withenshaw is there, two gone. The batter, number one, designated hitter, Elvis Andrus. So Elvis Andrus, the next to bat. No hits to this point. Now here's the pitch. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it. Right? He's holding yeah. back really well after that knock right there. Hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you could say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now. Joey Gallo is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Runner on first with two away. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make oh, solid right contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. MVP. 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 And he struck him out as seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for Texas. They still find themselves down six zip. Set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the former first rounder, Scott Kingler. Now the pick. Slap hard the opposite way. Chu is there, one away. Jumped all over that first now pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. He just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Gene Segura in his last at bat he popped on, out in foul ground. Yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder right. and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. No balls and a strike to count. One out nobody on. Hit high and deep out to left. Left fielder looking up. On the track to the wall. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. Number 10 for him on the year as this lead swells to 7 to nothing. Well, you can see when that one was tracking towards home. That was a hanging breaker right over the middle part of the plate. That one wasn't coming back. At the plate now, Jose Peraza. Second base. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, and it's 1 and 1.
Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. Hardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Now another one two. And this is popped up back behind second. Duffy backs up and takes care of it two away. The center fielder number 24. Mark Whippenshaw. Plate Mark Withenshaw. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He That's has to ball. put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Ball one to start the at bat. Two out, nobody on. Scorched to third. Scooped up. Throw to first will get him easily on the side as we're tying. Phillips tack on one more on this solo home run. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. It's the Philly seven and the Rangers nothing. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. will be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Chopped to third. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Now that the white two. Ten two two. Standing in, Shin Su Chu. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch on its way. Hey. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key, 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. One out, nobody on. One and one. Fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Now the one and one pitch. Hey! And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back even now at two and two. It hard but foul toward first so he'll come back and line it up again. The 2 2 one more time. He swung on and missed he got him on strikes. Really good pitch right there so you're moving the ball all around the strike zone. So then what do you do you come in that's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Into the box now, Hunter Bishop. As yeah. he'll take strike one on the inside corner. He oh, was retired man. via the ground ball last time up. The pitch. And a half Aye. swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Rangers set down in order. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing.
Next will be the cleanup hitter, Bryce Harper. He's working on a one for Bryce three Bryce thus far. Three. Bryce Harper. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball's in there for strike one. But this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty D, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rowe, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. And there's the first out. The first base, number 17. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. Digging in, Reese Hoskins. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra base. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. So now to the plate, Jay Bruce. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, and they hold a 7 nothing lead. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He leads off there half of the eighth, and they're unable to get that starter out of the game at this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead this guy has gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Ball, Ball that time. And a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. One one grounder down the line at third but a foul ball one and two the count now looking for his tenth strikeout here's the pitch and he struck him out so double digits now ten strikeouts for him thus far. He's been in total control out there tonight. He gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. At the plate, Josh Jung, as he puts it on the ground to third. Throw gets him, two down. Settling in now, Eduardo Nunez. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here it comes. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. 
with Inshaw. He is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They're down by a touchdown, 7 nothing. Corey Garrett enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Corey Garrett. Set to start the ninth in this one, and digging in at the plate will be Justin Turner. Here comes the first pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now back, catcher Omar Narvaez. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. Garen was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Out of play off to the right. Bases are empty, one man out. Let's go! Get him down! Count remains at 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Hit hard, but this will be a foul ball. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Four foul balls in this A.B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. The next 3-2. Bounce towards the mound. And that's the second out. The batter, number four. Designated hitter, God Kingery. Here's the Phillies DH. Scott Kingery hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, One Matty. Out. Just unlucky with the placement. One ball, no strikes to count. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Looking for the strike. Now here's the one two. Hit hard towards center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. So the two out hit here brings up Gene Segura. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit.
And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Jung is there, and the side is retired. One left for Philadelphia, but they're still in control, seven to nothing. So next to the plate for Texas, Matt Duffy starting things for his side in the ninth. As they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. First pitch of the at-bat. Ball one. One oh home. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Struck him out, and there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Well, that's one of the toughest pitches in baseball to hit, right? That good straight change of El Camillo. There's not much you can do with that. You're going off of that arm speed, and the ball, it just doesn't get there. Standing in now, Elvis Andrews. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here it comes now to Andrus. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. Two gone. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Now here's the pitch. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 and 0. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ballgame, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. He won't want to fall behind him any Two further. No 2 and 0 the count to the Rangers left fielder. Two out, nobody on. And here's a fastball for a strike. 2 and 1 now. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Now the 2-1. Gallo swings, and this one is crushed out to right field. And gone! An absolute gone. Big Joey Gallo leaves the yard with a solo shot. Hitless in his two at bats so far. Hey. 
Ball and a strike. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball nope. two. Outside. This is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down. Early. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at that, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. That is just a great at-bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never-say-die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart as he couldn't quite get that final out, but he will lead with the lead after a strong eight and two thirds. First offering on its way. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. From the stretch. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. on a pitch that tied him up in knots and the ball game is over. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. 7-1, the final score in tonight. The Philadelphia Phillies posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Paul Irvin earns win number seven on the season, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Luke Farrell permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.